Hi everyone. In this video we're going to talk about a very special book. But before we talk about the book and I tell you what it is, uh, let me first mention that this video is sponsored. This is actually my first sponsored video. Um, the sponsor is a website which provides on-demand tutoring. It's called nerdytutors.com and I will leave a link in the description below. Uh, you basically sign up and you pick your subject and then you can message a tutor and you connect with the tutor and you can ask math questions. Okay, so what is this book? Let me go ahead and turn it over so you can see it. This is book one of the Algebra Through Practice series. It's on sets, relations, and mappings. And the author is T.S. Blith and E.F. Robertson. Uh, this is actually a hardcover of the book which uh, I was surprised even existed. Let's take a look inside this book. Uh, this is an excellent book for math majors. So this is the inside cover. You can see it says Elon College Library, uh, North Carolina. Maybe it's Elon. And it's no longer uh, the property of this library. So this is an ex-library copy. And again, I'm shocked that this is a hardcover. I own other uh, copies of the Algebra Through Practice series, and they're all soft covers. So I was really excited to see that this was a hardcover. Here's the inside, Algebra Through Practice, Book 1, Sets, Relations, and Mappings. T.S. Blith and E.F. Robertson, University of St. Andrews. So really, really nice. Cambridge University Press. This is a, a really good condition copy. Let me turn the page. It smells really good. It's actually really old despite the condition. 1984. That was a long time ago. I mean, it may not seem that way, but we're in 2020. So 84, well, it's it's been a while. It's been a long time. This is the table of contents. So it starts with the preface, and then they give you some background reference material. And there are bas there's basically three sections. It's sets, relations, and mappings. And then the best part about this book is that there are solutions. So this is actually a problem book. This is a book of math problems with solutions. Then after you go through all of it, if you actually do, um, you'll be a master, uh, they give you tests. Now, unfortunately, the tests uh, do not have solutions. However, the fact that there's solutions to every single problem in this book make it an awesome book for self-study. This is the preface. It says, the aim of this series of problem solvers is to provide a selection of worked examples in algebra designed to supplement undergraduate algebra courses. So I believe there are six books. And again, this is the first book, which is on sets, relations, and mappings. I think I own four of the six. And the reason I don't own all of them is because some of the other ones were a little bit uh, more expensive. If you can find this copy for a few dollars, I highly recommend you buy this book. And I say that uh, not only because it's a good book, but because the prices vary. Uh, several years ago, I tried to buy this book and I could not get it for less than $50. I think I picked up this copy for less than 10 this is the background reference material. So the authors just go through and give you some, some references. We should take a look to see if we recognize any of these books. Um, introduction to Field Theory, I don't recognize that one. Nope, nope. Oh, Khan, Algebra, I don't own that, but um, I have looked at it, that's a good book. Herstein, Topics in Algebra, that's another reference. Hoffman and Kunz, that's a great linear algebra book. It's a recommended reference. Lang's Linear Algebra. All kinds of stuff. Oh, McLean, Brokoff and McLean. That's a great reference as well. McCoy, Rotman, Theory of Groups. That's a good one. So those are the books they recommend. Now, in theory, though, this is pretty much self-contained. Like, I think you can go through this book um, without having these references. And let me, let me show you why. This is the section on sets. So it does say, we assume that the reader has a basic knowledge of elementary set theory, and we shall use standard... It asked the most commonly accepted notation. So it does assume you have some math background, but it does go over everything. It quickly defines everything uh, very, very quickly. I mean, right away, De Morgan's Laws in you know, the second paragraph. So it briefly covers everything you need in a very quick and correct way. Notice it uh, includes zero as a natural number. That's something that Terence Tao does uh, in his analysis book. Uh, as well. I prefer not to include zero, but you know, we all have our, our differences. 
and there's the remainder of the explanation and then they just get right into it so you see the problems so 1.1 let a be the set containing the empty set the set containing the empty set and the set containing the empty set and the set containing the empty set which of the following are true and then you just have to answer the questions and there's multiple questions let's see how many there are one two three four five six seven eight wow keeps going 10 ridiculous tons of set theory i mean if you actually did all of these problems you would be a set theory expert let me turn the page there's more here so tons of math problems you might be wondering where are the solutions where could they be well the solutions are in the back let's take a brief look at the solutions for for this section so you see here the author gives solutions solutions to chapter one and not only do you get solutions but oftentimes you get explanations and whenever there are proofs uh, oftentimes the author uh, will give the proof or a pretty good proof sketch I mean you do have full solutions you're not partial solutions uh, they, they are solutions so uh, it's appropriately named uh, really really awesome book so this is the section on relations and the author does go through and briefly defines what a relation is so they actually give you the definition of a relation and then they describe all of the theory that you need in order to actually do the problems in the book and they do so in a really really brief fashion so if you have some experience with math and with relations this book is a refreshing read you'll be able to read all of this and say oh wow this makes a lot of sense i've just refreshed my memory i just i feel like i've learned right because it reviews what you would normally find in maybe eight to ten pages in just a few paragraphs right just briefly tells you everything you need in order to jump into the exercises the first problem says let s be the relation defined on the set of real numbers by x is related to y if and only if x squared equals x times the absolute value of y plus one sketch the graph of s so right away uh just jumping into a, a graphing problem let's keep going and just see how many problems there actually are in the section on relations so it keeps going so 2.4 2.5 2.10 let's see what's over here 11 going kind of quickly here 16 really really awesome let's turn the page see what happens there's more wow wow really really hardcore really useful for um, math majors and for computer science majors uh, if you ever study computer science as a major oftentimes you have to take a class on discrete math and relations are one of the key components of that class also in an abstract algebra class you, know, you study relations so uh, relations are absolutely critical uh, for for math majors so 29 problems that's pretty good let's take a brief look at the solutions uh, on relations solutions to chapter two. Oh, this is awesome so this is really awesome they give you detailed solutions which is like absolutely incredible especially for a math book um, and most discrete math books those are the ones that contain exercises on relations um, they're okay they're not like you know amazing I've done a couple reviews um, a few uh, discrete math books that I own and they're all they're all pretty good but they're just okay and one of the things that they lack is solutions and I feel that this book uh, is a really good supplement to one of those books so if you're taking a course uh, where you have to study relations um, and you already have a book this is a good supplement or if you just are collecting books like me if you can find this book for a few dollars I highly recommend you get it again several several years ago I tried to get these books uh, from the algebra through practice series and I wasn't able to get too many I think I only got like one or two of them and now I think I own four uh, and I'm still missing two and again mainly it's it's the price you know um, you know I'm, I'm not rich if, if a book is fifty dollars um, I have a hard time uh, spending that much money I try to keep all my purchases uh, you know to ten dollars or less uh, sometimes I'll splurge though so really nice look at that just really really detailed uh, solutions just awesome he just goes on and on and on the authors do not hold back you know there is no laziness in their work 
The third section is probably the most useful section for math majors and anyone who wants to learn about functions. It's on mappings, okay? So it tells you the definition of a mapping and it goes through and defines everything. It defines, you know, the domain, the composition, surjectivity, injectivity, the image, bijectivity, the codomain. I mean, it just goes through all the definitions. Looks like it gives an example of uh, the greatest integer function. And then it just jumps into the problems like right away. Let's read the first one together. Let SPC be the functions from R to R given by, and they give you the functions. Express each of the functions in terms of SPC using uh, multiplication and composition. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. So a uh, nice, simple example to uh, get you started. Then it keeps going and there's more exercises really nice the notation is something that again you typically learn like in a proof writing course this is the the rigorous function notation or in a discrete math course really really nice uh, selection of exercises here you have a bunch where you have to find uh, the domain and image that's really useful that's a common like test question uh, if you're taking a discrete math class you know it's something that you typically see so this book uh, is awesome uh, for anyone who is taking one of those classes or just wants to learn uh, more more math some of these are really interesting this one here this one this is a really important uh, statement this is something that you kind of just have to um, know if you ever take topology stuff like this comes up routinely and if you forget you know you just go on the internet and you google it but this is one of those things that you use over and over again uh, in topology proofs really really nice beautiful book and there's still more I mean it just it just keeps going um, the amount of mathematics and like the value that you get for your money in this book is incredible because you have so many solved problems and regular math books uh, aren't like that this is really what's called a problem book someone left a comment recently asking me you know is there a problem book that covers all subjects uh, of math I actually don't know if there is uh, but this one, you know, covers covers three subjects, right? Sets, relations, and and mappings. And it does so in a really awesome way. Look how many exercises there are. We're already up to 40 just on this section. Let me turn the page. Are there more? Oh, my God, there's more. <laughs> I've done a few of the problems from this book, maybe like five or six uh, from, from each section. These are the solutions for the section on mappings. So you can see uh, it's quite detailed as before. Really, really nice. And it has you know, full proofs uh, for the exercises that uh, ask for, for proof. So again, if you're, if you're taking a course or you just want to learn some extra math, this is an excellent uh, problem book. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description as well. Uh, to the book so you can you know if you want to like read the reviews on Amazon I'm assuming it's on Amazon I, I'll, I'll look after I uh, after I post this video wow it just keeps going it just keeps going just amazing really really nice really beautiful okay so these are the test papers so test paper one it says time allowed three hours allocate five marks for each a question 20 marks for each B question. Interesting. So it's, a, it's like a test you can take. The downside of this is that there are no solutions to the test paper. Now, I'll be honest, I feel kind of guilty even saying it's a downside because the fact this book has solutions to all of the problems is just absolutely priceless. It's just so difficult to find that in math books, especially at this level. So uh, this is just like an added bonus. I've actually never looked at uh, the tests in, in detail. Um, but it looks like they cover all of the topics uh, found in all three sections. For example, here it talks about injective and surjective. That's from the mappings uh, uh, section. And then over here it talks about sets. That's from you know the section on sets. And then over here it talks about relations, and that's from the section on you know relations. So it does cover everything. And I guess the B questions are harder because they're worth uh, 20 points each. Let's see if there's more that might be it. Yeah, that was it. So looks like it has uh, eight questions worth five points each. So that'd be 40 points. 
and then three questions worth 20 points each, so 60 points. So it's out of 100 points. So you have like a test that you can give yourself. The only issue with this is grading the test. However, if you actually work through all of the problems in this book, I think you're gonna know if your answers are right. I mean, you're gonna know what you're doing. You're gonna know how to tell if your proofs are correct. This is the second test paper. And same thing, looks like we have eight questions worth five points each, and then you know three more worth 20 points. And they're a little bit harder than um, the A questions. This is the third test paper, same thing. Again, eight questions. You know worth five points each and you know three questions worth 20 points each so it ends up being a uh, hundred points really really nice and this is the last test paper so test paper four uh, so you have eight questions worth five points each and again three worth 20 and I'll be honest if you actually did all of this I mean you would just be a math god I mean it's just ridiculous I don't think most normal human beings you know pick up a book like this and actually do all of the problems. It's just it's just so much, even with solutions. I mean, if you actually went through and you just did like all of, of all of the problems uh, in this book, and then when you got stuck, you looked at the answer, you would come out so much stronger uh, in, in mathematics. I mean, you would just get so much better at it. So again, the book is Algebra Through Practice, and this was book one on sets, relations, and mappings. And I, I just feel fortunate that I was able to get a hardcover copy uh, of this book. This is an ex-library copy. And again, this was made, this, this was printed apparently in 1984, right, 1984. Uh, printed in Great Britain, awesome, at the University Press in Cambridge. Just really, really awesome. Uh, and the book smells good. Uh, this is just a classic. Uh, and again, if you can get it for a few dollars, I highly recommend you get it. Again, I tried to find this book, you know, many, many years ago, and I was not able to find it at a reasonable price um, so I feel fortunate uh, that I was able to pick up this book there's other books in the series uh, I've done I believe one other review on another of the books and I'll try to do reviews on the other ones and they're all on different subjects you know some of them are matrices and vector spaces some are on group theory some on rings uh, etc I hope this video has been helpful until next time take care